Hey Capricorn, how are you guys? This is your love reading, okay, for your love life. So Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Orleans. Okay. So right now you guys are single on your own. You guys are taking care of yourself. You guys are self-sufficient. If you're not single, you're self-sufficient and you work on your own things and you make your own money. And you guys are working on your healing and stuff like that. And there's also somebody around you who is lying, right? They have a lot of love for you, okay? They're lying. They're lying. They're just trying to split you up from trusting your intuition. Somebody around you really loves you, okay? Somebody around you really loves you. But there's also somebody here who's a fake friend, okay? Somebody around you, you know, they really love you, but there's also someone here. There's a fake friend here, okay? There's a fake alliance, fake celebrator, someone here who doesn't really wish you well. They could be using energy. It's coming from a friend, and they're lying about, um, you know, how much they use energy or that they don't, you know, this person might use magic and not say anything about about it to anybody, okay? All right? So you guys are single on your own because of that. And it's because you guys are confident on yourself, all right? And so whatever this person is doing on you, it's not really hurting you, you know? You guys are just growing and getting stronger and realizing who was raining on your parade the whole time and getting more self-sufficient. So a lot of you guys are clearing out bad friends, bad connections, unhealthy people from your life that are toxic, you know, you understanding who was the problem, but also how you were not, how you were not trusting your intuition, how you're blocking your intuition by, you know, maybe saying stuff to people who were sad or depressed or that blocked your passion. You know, you, you might have stayed stuck to people who blocked your passion or, um, you know, not trusted yourself and didn't take up some sort of opportunity or some sort of offer for a new beginning and passion. And you guys also you're getting you're, you're getting self-sufficient and you're also uh coming out of like you guys are coming out of not trusting your intuition and even being being around fake people and stuff like that being around the waters not taking action on your desires you know not taking up opportunities not taking up your passion not living in the moment and stuff like that uh so you guys are getting abundance as well like in every way like a lot of security in every way you know whatever your love life is right now you're very comfortable with it and it's because you're super confident you're just super you guys are super confident folks you just don't trust your intuition but you're super confident because you probably take action something might have happened already in your life that really decimated you and decimated things that were bad for you and so now you're getting the victory that you deserve a lot of you guys went through some sort of um, transformation some sort of event that um you know shook down something got rid of something that was causing stale energy in the room and stale energy in your life and now you guys are you know back in your groove you know maybe not necessarily maybe you're not stella but you know you're definitely getting your groove on you know i'm saying you're definitely getting your groove on and you're working on it in the recent past you guys had love come in all right so you guys had love come in but you also were broken hearted both of you guys were broken hearted both of you guys had a tough time Okay, and it's because you guys were karmics and dealing with karmics. You guys were karmics dealing with karmics. You were working against yourself, okay? Both of you guys were working against yourselves and you were not trusting in your guardian angel. There was somebody blocking you from trusting in your guardian angel. A lot of you guys were just waiting for people who didn't appreciate you. A lot of you guys were working with folks who thwarted you in every way and they were narcissistic and had mental illnesses and you felt it that they gaslit you. You were dealing with folks who they pop the craziest pills in the morning before work, okay? But they just don't say anything about it. And now you guys are getting self-love because you guys, these people thwarted your confidence. But it's like a joke, honestly, to spirit because if you saw how shaky and crazy this person really was, you would be so you would be laughing at yourself for letting this person make you cry, even because this person's psychotic. They're crazy. And they're currently right now projecting their paranoia onto you.
you know, by keeping you trapped in something, in something like beating up on yourself, being hard on yourself. You know what I'm saying? You know, this is something that maybe when it happens to them, it's for them, for the, whatever reason, but they say it's because of this. But it's it's actually happening to them because they're a terrible human being and because they need to take action on their flights of fancy and live their life. And stop rewarding niggas who are living their life when they're just not living their life. Oh my gosh, you were dealing with crazy people and now you finally got your healing back. Because you you had a block, you, you, you weren't able to travel. A lot of you guys cleared out a block to travel, okay? Some of you guys, it feels like there was a block to travel that was removed and it's through just having faith and trust in life or through having faith and trust in life, a block to movement and travel and a block to your victory and success has been removed. A block to driving, movement, all that gone. Okay, and it was exposed to who or what was blocking it. Oh my gosh. And it's somebody who's coming in in the near future and trying to decimate you again. Some sort of, um, you know, man that should be, shouldn't be in your life some sort of character figure that he is um pressing upon you and trying to over cross your boundaries he's trying to tell you what to do possibly because you're not taking up your authority in that way right and that's how you're staying stuck in a karmic cycle that spiritually you can get out of and it's, it's blocking you from your wishes coming true okay so there's a lot of there's a lot of good fortune and blessings capricorn available for you guys oh my goodness right now so you guys were not moving forward for the longest time. Your love life was stuck for the longest time. In the sense that you guys were not seeing your work. You guys were not amassing value. You were just dealing with folks who didn't see your work. And they tried to thwart it. <laughs> and because you didn't see yours, you let them thwart it, but not fully. It's okay. You guys were also not able to understand that what you really wanted in love, these folks were not giving it to you, but you were also afraid to go after it, okay? You guys also were not fully embracing yourself for who you were. I also feel like somebody was blocking it and who this was. These were unleveled, ungrounded connections that would have been like the wording of your protection. The wording of who you are okay and these were people who, or situations that were not recognizing you at all like you got no recognition right they were blocking you okay because you guys were holding on to them all right and you guys kept going around and around the circle of working on connections that weren't working okay continuing to work on a connection that wasn't working and it's because you guys were, you know, trying to decide things for yourself. A lot of you guys had to make up your mind and make a decision and look inside of yourself. You were very much like struggling with some emotions. Some of you guys have some emotional um, issues. Some of you guys have a mother wound. Perhaps your mother is a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Perhaps there's a water sign person around you who is devastating you. You know, perhaps this person was a narcissist. Perhaps you guys had a narcissist in your life, but... This person was splitting you up. You kind of felt it, but you just didn't trust it. Oof, Capricorn. Ooh, there's a water sign person. Because I feel like, yeah, this is a mother wound and this is emotional, but there was a there was a there was a water sign woman. Oh my gosh, she got cancer. She got cancer. She was thwarting your love connection. She was using energy to do it. Okay. Every time you told her stuff, she would thwart it. She's a sociopath. <laughs> She's a sociopath. Okay, she's a 100% a sociopath. That's why she's always wanting to know what's going on in everybody's life. Because she's always trying to thwart niggas down. That's why every time you work on stuff, it doesn't work out. Because she just thwarts people. That's why she wants to know everybody's business. That's what, yo, your, your comfort zone is being restored because this person is getting decimation in their life as well. Okay, watch the daily. All right. Mm, you guys are going to confront a major abandonment wound, step into your happiness. You're going to see once this person goes out of your life, everything's going to start moving perfectly. Like, fine. They were just working against everybody. <laughs> they're like a bit, they're like a, they're like a rotting or corroding pipes in a sewer. Like they're, they smell, they, they, they make everything smell bad and go bad. They're get, you're about to see some amazing immaculate shit go down. Your love life was blocked because somebody was splitting you up in your emotions. They were narcissists. They were using energy. They were manipulative. They were playing on your abandonment wounds. Oh, this person is so disgusting. That's why they're getting such a disgusting fate. 
This person also blocked you from seeing somebody in your life, perhaps a queen of swords, truthfully and honestly. Okay. They might have did that through making you resentful of a fire sign. This person used, they definitely used magic. Definitely. I'm definitely getting a feeling of somebody, you know, thwarting a fire sign, thwarting a, a water, an air sign, thwarting a little bit of water sign too. But she couldn't thwart the water sign. And that's why she ended up getting caught up because she couldn't thwart the water sign. She couldn't thwart it. <laughs> She's just disgusting. What kind of person does that? That's so disgusting. Oh my God. You guys feel so defeated, but listen, just go towards your wish come true. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to hear about this. This person, you're going to be completely reborn today. All right. So um, when it comes to love now, you're going to be, not right now, you're going to be focused on your happy ever after. You guys are going to be so happy in your love life, Capricorn. Okay. And it's because you guys are ascending out of a cycle. You're coming out of a cycle that you were blocked in. Spiritually, you were being blocked in. Holy fucking crap. Oh my God. This is. God. Oh my God. You guys are ascending. You're getting closer to spirit. This person blocked you from God. They couldn't thwart the water sign, though. They couldn't thwart it. They couldn't thwart her. And anybody who had her aspects or had watery aspects in their chart around you, she, they couldn't thwart her. And that's why those people would be more like unhinged and psychotic. It's because she was using energy on them and only they could feel it. She might have been using water or she might have forgot to add water. You know what I'm saying? Wink, wink. Because she, I don't think she used water. <laughs> no. Because she couldn't thwart the emotional person. She forgot. <laughs> She's a stupid fucking slut. And she was trying to decimate a queen of swords that was psychotic and, and owned it. She was trying to decimate a queen of swords and split her up from her commitment. But this queen of swords is psychotic and knows it and owns it and doesn't give a shit. So that's so, but in this queen of swords, she, she was just trying to make her lose trust and faith. She was trying to cause her to die. This was the reason why this person faced near death experiences so much. This woman here. Ooh! Oh my God. She's going, you about to see it. Oh my, you are here to stay, honey. She was trying to fucking, she, but she's the one who's about to pull off. Ooh, why are you guys having happiness in your life? <laughs> Something fucking faded is going down. It's too good. It's too good. There's a turn of events. You're about to see all your wishes, the things that you were waiting for to come in, they just, whoosh, 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 whoosh. they fly right in. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. They're flying in. Holy shit. They're flying in. This fucking big fat square face cunt bitch. When you see her walking down, just get your cameras, honey. Get your groove on. Get your groove on. Your comfort zone's back. Get your groove on. <laughs> this is too good. Woo! This is too good. Oh, God. Mmm. Oh my goodness. This person was causing all the commotion around you, Capricorn. You guys are going to let go of your worries. You can have a new beginning in not worrying. You understand me? You get it? <laughs> Woo! To get your grave on. I love this. <laughs> Flew over the cuckoo's nest. And guess what's next? I love this. So go ahead and talk shit. Dun, dun. Talk shit about me. Ba -ba -bow -bow. You can go ahead and talk shit. About my generation, we don't, don't give a fuck on. Yes, I love them. I love this. This is going to be so good. This is so good. Ah, Limp Biscuit did this. Who gets the blame? You get the blame. And I get the blame. Who gets the blame? And she's going to get the blame. And you're not going to get a goddamn thing. Do you know what is coming? I know what's coming, honey. Woo! Nothing's going to change. You can go away. Yes! Oh, my God. Yo, this, this is too good. This is too good what is coming. Oh, my God. This You are going to be mind blown, life altering. Decision making changing. Holy fucking shit. Okay. 
your abundance was blocked, your health was blocked, your recognition was blocked, and it was because there was some psychotic water sign around you working against you in every way, and you just, somebody around you, they might have thwarted them using magic. <laughs> This person, if they use a lot of magic, they probably got thwarted down because somebody else around them used magic on them. They got decimated by somebody. Somebody who trusted themselves around them, they, because this person used energy and they manipulated folks too, but that's the reason why their, their spells didn't work because they kept on trying to manipulate because they have a mental illness. So they kept on trying to manipulate and they kept on showing themselves. You know what I mean? So <laughs> it's like, they because they got crazy, they're crazy. <laughs> Who does that? Who puts people, who is, who's somebody, who finds out that somebody has a job and then does spell work so that they lose a job? And then that's the only reason why they asked you if your brother got a new job and then he lost his job. And then you're going there telling her about everybody going on in your life. And you're a fucking slut for that. Because you was out here with the mommy who not willing to deal with your shit with them bobbly, annoying eyes. And there's a particular Capricorn that I'm talking to. And she might not watch this. She might, because she's annoying. She loves to hate watch and stuff. But that's why she attracted that type of character close to her, close by in her life. Because she's a fucking hater. She didn't get away from that because she was a jealous ass bitch. She did not get away with that. And that's why she got decimated the very next day. Because I feel like the situation here, you, this didn't affect you guys, but it's like if you guys saw how you were thwarting niggas that really loved you behind this fucking narcissist, that everybody was like, she's a narcissist, but you kept on trusting this person. That's why your mother wanted you to get close to her because she felt a funny feeling about that bitch. And she knew that if you just kept on going over there, eventually she would, she would, somehow it would come out. She just didn't like her. Okay. You can't thwart certain folks. She was trying to thwart your protection. And this person is gone. They're being exposed. They were already exposed in some way, shape or form. In some way, shape or form, this person's already been exposed possibly through conversations you guys just trust it you don't speak to this person anymore you don't reach out to them <laughs> you don't talk to them you're staying to yourself yep she's a psycho she's completely she's completely erratic and insane she does she's um, she's left reality she's not grounded in reality <laughs> she needs to go wherever she's going Ooh! i feel like for some of you guys she's gonna die some of you guys, this person here is dying today. Like, no, she's getting something. Something's going on with her. It's good. All right, you guys. So, all right. There's a contract that you guys have here with deceitful people that you're coming out of. You guys are like, can I come out of it? Yes, you can, if you want. But, you know, it's coming up. All right. Can I stop dealing with them? If you can, if you want to. <laughs> you don't have to deal with them, hon. Okay. Oof. Oh, my goodness. This is like. I want to pull out of the situation. Okay, so what messages does Spirit have for Capricorn about their love life right now? Okay, so have you been you've been pouring into um you've been pouring yourself into everything and everyone else? What about you? Okay, so go take care of yourself. Okay, pour into yourself, give to yourself. All right, the person who you have in your thoughts is very grateful to have you in their life, and you're their heart's treasure. Okay, but in this situation, you are the student, hon. You are the student. Because in this circumstance right now, you've never seen this before. But this this type of person who you're thinking about, they just they've dealt with that kind of crazy. They've dealt with so much jealousy, so they know what it looks like. And they can feel it even when it's not around them. So that's why they were probably always saying that to you. Because there was just hateful energy that somebody was using energy to do. Yes, oh my God, this is such a, this is amazing new beginning. Now you have a new life. But that's why everything felt good when her mother got cancer. Didn't everything start to feel lighter? Didn't you start to feel more free? Because they got overwhelmed and then they were, they stopped doing spell work. <laughs> they stopped doing spell work for like five minutes and then they just start, they started up again. They started up again. But then who else was doing spell work? She decimated her, bro. They don't even get up. They don't even exercise. They're lazy, fat bitches. They can't even sweat. They can't, they can't, they can't, they can't even come close to whoever. They got decimated by another witch. I'm telling you right now, there was a witch in the group. She saw, she's mad low. She might even talk about how she's a witch, but she was just low about it and decimated them on the low and didn't give a fuck. 
and that witch was way more powerful than them she gave them all her power that crazy bitch using all that energy on all you guys all those years she gave you she gave that person all her energy and then she just took it and threw it back and threw her strength at her too somebody around you is so fucking brolic and you have no idea how much this nigga this bitch there's a bitch around you guys that could flex so sh this bitch could flex crazy her flex is insane and she just never flexes and that's that all right because she's gonna flex up on some bitch who thought she was flexing she got flex up right back she went huh you flexed you flexed you flexed yo this motherfucking bitch that you got in your fucking life you guys might feel crazy and uncomfortable about having this person because some of y'all y'all might have had somebody you might have had paid off somebody to take care of this person or you might know who this person is that might have called they might have called the police they might have been even if they weren't a witch they might have even been a witch but they weren't using spell work they were just going out because some a lot of women not a lot but there's some women that are witches and they don't know it they don't practice the craft but they might love food they might like do something creative and then that's how it activates or they dance or something they're amazing at something but then they just go off and live their life and they don't use no spell work. They don't even know. Sometimes they don't even know that they're a witch. And when they get a task and it drops in their lap, the way that they obsess over it, they have to find the cure and the answer. They're a witch. Doctors and stuff, like people who discover cures, Jonas Sock or whatever his name is, he was a witch. Who discovers the cure to polio? A witch does. You have to be obsessed. You know what I'm saying? That's magic. I mean, medicine is magic. Come on, alchemy, it came, chemistry came from alchemy. So the, the witches live amongst you and they're just in the labs. I was in a lab before I sat down in front of candles and mixing mixtures and stuff like that. I was sitting in a lab. <laughs> so it's like, yo, they live in different places. It's just that you give them a task and they just cannot let it go. And that they, whoever they were decimate, this person could never let it go. So this person was getting all the information already about how they were, um money laundering all this yo somebody around you is committing heavy heavy white collar heavy wh white collar white collar heavy white collar crimes it was white collar Woo! so white the collar was so white i can't believe he wore that shirt today that's how white his fucking collar was oh my goodness and here's the thing devastation leave in the scene in devastation it's like saliva pulled up why is my mother always right no literally you guys you guys this person is gonna be wondering will i make it to the end they're gonna they're not gonna be they're not gonna be sure if they can make it this person they have to face themselves one one they have to face themselves one give me one they have to face themselves that's it okay you guys i have to go i have to go i have to go this is too good oh this is too good all right all right bye you guys i'll talk to you guys soon